You might have already heard of it. Melt Studio is the new streaming software on the block and it is looking to replace OBS forever. But what if I told you it wants to replace Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve as well? I did my first stream about Melt almost a year ago and honestly, the software has become a lot better. But there are a few things that are just bad. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Melt, how to use all its snazzy features, and we are going to answer the most important question. The one thing I could not figure out. How do they think that they are going to make their business viable? Because in the end, it all comes down to money. If you're new here, my name is Barry Epps. I'm a cryptographer turned content creator and Twitch partner looking to help 10,000 people grow their channel the right way. But what exactly is Melt Studio? What can it do and what makes it so special? Well, let's answer that question first. Melt Studio is a new streaming software promising to be better and easier to use than OBS. And their offer is really enticing. Quick setup, easy to use, simultaneous streaming and recording, built-in multi-streaming, multiple canvases, audio mixing and filtering, and more. But can they actually provide all that for free? Let's check it out. First things first, to download Melt Studio, you need to go to meltstudio.co and download the software using the big button right in the center. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and install the studio and you will be greeted by a completely blank canvas. On the left side, you will find the layers. These are like the sources in OBS, so your game, your overlay, your chat, etc. You will also find your scenes, which are like, you know, your scenes in OBS. Sets of sources you can easily switch between. Here on the bottom you can see the audio mixer and on the right side is where all the magic happens. When you add a source, you will see all the settings you can apply to this source appearing there. Although you don't really need to even pay attention to that, all you need to do is click on the source and everything appears right there in the canvas. You can crop the source, use one of your presets, and if you pull one of the little pins in one of the corners, you can round the corners or pull it all the way to a circle yourself. Oh, and a little tip I will throw in right here. If you hold Alt and drag one of the corners, then you break the link between them, meaning you can edit the rounding of each corner to your liking. Adding your games has also never been easier, mostly because Mel doesn't see a difference between display, window, and game capture. When you add a display capture, you will be prompted if you want to add a whole display or just a window. Just choose your game here and you're all set up. If you want to add overlay elements from Stream Elements, Streamlabs, or Owned, for example, or you want to add your chat, add a browser source and check out the detailed information on the right side. Make sure your browser is selected. Then change the URL from the standard to the URL of whatever you are trying to add, and that's it. Similarly to OBS, you can also control the audio of your browser sources in Meld by clicking the audio track toggle. There are loads more layers you can add, but most of these functions the same as in OBS but there are two of them that are a bit weird. The first one is the duplicator. Just like the source clone plugin for OBS, this allows you to copy a source without copying all the filters and effects you have put on it. But this is also the source you can use to create a nested scene, which is when you want to use a different scene inside this scene. The second one is the replay clip source, which will grab the latest clip of your channel and well, replays it. While I think this could be a really cool feature for a channel point redemption, there is one thing that is missing from this source to be able to do that. There is no replay once option, so it will just replay forever and ever and ever, or at least until you turn the source off. By the way, I tested all this live and answered questions throughout over on my Twitch stream. I stream every Tuesday and Friday from 5pm to 11pm Central European time, so come check it out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Finally, we need to set up the audio. And if there is one thing that Melt has done, which is a big improvement on OBS, it is how their audio mixer functions. To add your microphone, just click the plus in the audio mixer and set the device at the bottom of the new box to your microphone input. To add your PC sound, you do the same thing, but in the devices menu, you choose the output devices instead. But the best part is the process sources. Here you can pick any application you want. Your game, Spotify, browser, Discord, you name it and you can add it separately. That means you can completely split out your audio exactly how you want without any fuss. Okay, let's get through this. 
If you want to add any filters, you can do that by clicking on the plus. The filters are very limited at the moment, but I'm sure they are going to add a few more in the future. If you want to monitor your audio so you can hear it in your own headphones, you need to enable the Q button. And if you want to have the audio, for example, Spotify, be heard on stream, but not in the VOD, you can do that too. All you need to do is click edit and toggle exclude from Twitch VOD track. Since Meld is supposed to be plugin free, there are a lot of the usual effects that are built into the system. There are a bunch of presets which you can use to 3D transform, change the colors, get a sepia or 90s look, but the one I am most impressed by is this one. It almost convinced me that I am Leia trying to contact Obi-Wan. And if these presets are not exactly what you're looking for, you can access all the effects separately in the second tab and make your own thing. Oh, and once you added a preset and you don't completely like how it looks, you can edit it here as well. You can even import your own effect files from the effects that are built into something like OBS Shader Filter plugins. And once you've built your own effect in Meld that you might want to export to share with your friends, which is what I would do if I had any. Anyway, then you can just click the export button, save it to your PC and your friends can import it however they like. One of my favorite features that Mel provides natively, which in OBS you need another extension for, is a multi canvas mode, where you have one canvas for all your horizontal streams and one canvas for all your vertical streams. This has two massive advantages. First, you can stream both horizontal and vertical at the same time, which is great for your growth. Streaming to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time doubles your reach and means that you can stream vertical to both sides as well. At least when Twitch finally releases the vertical streaming functionality. Currently, Meld Studio natively supports Twitch, YouTube and Kick allowing you to add other services to RTMP. However, there are plans to implement TikTok streaming without the use of stream keys in the future. But secondly, and I think this is massive, when you are recording, you can choose to record your horizontal canvas, but when a clip is made, you can set it to clip your vertical canvas. That way you have short practically ready to post immediately. You just need to add a title card and some captions. I personally use the Atom Vertical plugin to achieve this in OBS, which is an incredibly robust solution, but because it is a plugin, OBS sometimes throws a bit of a fit. Not Atom's fault at all, but that is one of those annoyances that a built-in solution does prevent from happening. Okay, with everything set up and ready, we can finally hit that go live button. Well, almost. We quickly have to set up the video settings and meld, but these mirror OBS almost exactly. So if you want to see a full breakdown of these settings, I will leave a link to my OBS setup video in the description below. For the quick all purpose solution, head into your settings and set your frame rate to 60 FPS. Set the hardware encoder on if you use anything except X264 encoding in OBS and set your video bitrate to 6000 to 8000 kbps for both horizontal and vertical. Then leave your quality preset on standard unless you have a high-end graphics card because then you can set it to high or even very high. Now in the recording settings, set the local destination to wherever you want to save your recordings and set the video bitrate to the same you used for the stream. Set the canvas to whichever one you want to make the recording for, I suggest horizontal, and set use VOD audio on. Similarly, in the clip settings, set your clip length to 90 or 120 seconds, set the file destination and set the canvas to vertical at least if you want to use my recommendation. Finally, head into the transition settings and choose whichever transition you want. If you want to use the ones that you've been seeing in this video so far, then these are the exact settings you will want to use. Okay, there's one more thing we need to do and then the bookwork part is out of the way. Close the preferences and head to the top right. At the outputs, click the plus button and add all the platforms you want to stream to. And now you're ready to press that go live button. And normally this is where I would end the video, tell you where to go next and that's it but not this time. There is a massive red flag which has haunted the community for a long time that we need to talk about. Meld is a company and companies need to make money, but Meld Studio is free. So they are currently making 
nothing. This was one of the big problems that I highlighted in the initial stream in September 2024. And I highlighted it again when we looked at Meld again in March 2025. After that stream, I sent a message to the CEO of Meld through Twitter and still didn't get a clear answer. This is, by the way, why I have never made a video on Meld before. If you are not paying for a software and it's not open source like OBS, you are not the customer. You are the product. And I refuse to promote businesses that work like that or even highlight their products unless it is something I strongly believe in. But now we do have an answer. Courtesy of the wonderful Nutty, who you should absolutely check out if you haven't yet. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below as well. Nutty did an interview with the CEO in which the CEO clearly stated, with no doubt left for interpretation, that the streaming portion of Meld will forever be free. However, he also revealed how they do expect to monetize. And for this, they are looking to fight with two of the largest video editing softwares in the world, Final Cut and DaVinci. Let me tell you why. Normally, if you record while you are streaming, then you record your whole stream. Your game, your camera, your alerts, everything that can be seen on screen is in your video, and everything that's not on screen isn't recorded. Meld wants to offer you a better solution. What if you are able to record your stream the way you normally would, but instead of it all being baked into one thing, you get a stream of each of your sources and the sound associated to those sources separately. You get a stream for your camera, your game, your alerts, your effects, all separated. And then once everything's recorded and your stream is over, that is where you can choose exactly what you want to cut out, resize the sources, or if you forgot to show a source, add that back into the recording, even if it wasn't visible on your stream. That means you can stream, record, and then edit the video all on the same software, add or remove effects, change the composition entirely, and export the video ready to put on other platforms. This is what Meld wants to provide for streamers, and it could be an incredible addition to the current space for the right people. Who the right people are for this, I am not sure yet, because I don't think new or beginning streamers really care about this, and pro streamers have editors that edit their streams for them. But hey, I'm sure there is a niche in there somewhere. That feature will be locked behind a subscription model, however, and that is how they want to make their money. But which software should you be using right now? Meld or OBS? Well, Meld clearly has some things going for it. It is easy to learn and quick to use for your daily streaming needs. Everything is contained in one piece of software with no plugins needed, so you will never run into compatibility issues or version mismatches. And something I am sure you will be interested to hear, if you were to add all the functionality of Meld into OBS through plugins, the load on your CPU and GPU would be higher than Melt Studios is. However, if you're just using vanilla OBS or a few plugins to suit your needs, then OBS is slightly more efficient, but only slightly. But what about the reasons to avoid Melt Studio? And there are many, according to people. For one, it is not open source. It's proprietary software with proprietary parts, and if the company or investors decide to change things in Meld or regarding monetization, then you can't do anything about it. With OBS, everything is open source. So even if they went proprietary now, there will be someone who will make a free version that you could use forever as a new branch. And this also ties in with the next thing. Meld currently has all the features you need. But what if it doesn't have a feature you want? Well, with OBS, there are usually plugins for that. Or you could make one yourself. These plugins are all available for free and easy to install through the OBS forums. For Meld, that is not the case. Currently, there are no plugins for Meld, and so far, anyone that wanted to design a plugin did not get access to a developer version of Meld to do so. Which means, while they are open to plugins, there is still quite a lack of interest from developers and a lack of support from the company. Lastly, there are some features in OBS, either through plugins or natively, that have not been developed yet, and it is unsure when they will come to Meld anytime soon. For example, the studio mode functionality, but also NDI connections for wireless transmission of video and audio. That's not in Meld yet either, and it is a very popular protocol to use when you are using a streaming PC and a gaming PC at the same time. And if you'd like to know what plugins you can use in OBS to get a lot of the functions that I really love Meld has integrated, then check out the video right here, and as always, stream better, stream smart.